Jay at home, it's me, Maxwell again. It's week four. Today, we're gonna do upper body pull. So the majority of the muscle groups we're working are those biceps, those big back muscles. Anything that we can pull, either horizontal or vertical. Uh, the tools that I'm using today is, I love my TRX, so I'm using that. Um, I'm gonna use just a standard band. If you have a super band, that's just one that connects like that. That's fine as well. Um, I'm gonna use these dumbbells right here. Usually for upper body pull, almost the heavier the better. Uh, I only have 12 and a halfs here, so some of this stuff might look a little easy, but maybe it'll give me a rest. And then I'm gonna do body weight for that fourth round. I'm gonna use that same format we've been working with this whole time. Okay, we're 60 seconds on, trying to get as much tut as we can or time under tension. Well, I think that's all. Let's get going, guys. I got a timer today, so we're gonna hit the start button and start this workout in 10 seconds. I am going to start off with this TRX. Three. I'm gonna do a move called the power pole. Go. Here we go. A little squat row with a 180 twist. Okay, I'm focusing on trying to keep my hips glued at my anchor point. If you don't have a TRX at home, all you gotta do is throw a nice strong sheet in a door hinge, slam the door, lock it. Make sure nobody has access to open that door while you're using that sheet. Now, with the sheet, you have to have a little bit tougher grip strength. This TRX has handles, but you can use it all the same. So at the bottom part of my squat, I'm making sure I'm still pulling my shoulder blades down. And what I mean by that, if you don't know, is I don't want my shoulder up in my ear like this. I want to be down here. Rest. There we go. We got a small little rest. Just going to switch sides. All right, here we go, guys. Good. I'm really trying to pull through my pinky here. So on this hand, bottom part of the hand, focusing on pulling with it. And I'm focusing on just using my hand as a tool to hold the TRX. I'm actually trying to squeeze that elbow back. Give those shoulder blades a good squeeze up at the top. And at the top, I mean here. I'm trying to really pull this back and squeeze it. That way I can gauge those lats as much as I can. Your lats, those big back muscles, a lot stronger than your arms. Last one here. There we go. We're gonna do a little combo move here. A little W row into bicep curls. Go. W, we will get the external rotation. Bicep curl, keep the elbows nice and high. On that W row, focus on that squeeze. Right, trying to lead with the fist, meaning behind me. Trying to get that fist further back than the elbow. Combo moves like this, really good for your brain. Having to switch up, having to think while you exercise, makes for better engagement. Ooh, I think I talked right through my rest period. 
All right, one down, three stations to go. Let's start with that band next. Now, if you don't have a band at home, most of these exercises you can substitute for a weight. I'm gonna start with that upright row. So for my upright row, I like to get nice and wide, and I really like to lift with the elbows. I don't go up very high. Okay, so it's a short range of motion, focusing on squeezing those back muscles at the top. You really will feel this right here in the side of your shoulder a whole lot. And usually the short range of motion is pretty safe for people with issues in their shoulder. Ooh, their shoulders getting tired real fast. Two. Rest. One. There we go. All right. Next one. I'm going to have to anchor this off, guys. So I'm going to try to give you a little sideways view because I don't like to put my back to the camera. When I'm using an anchor point like this, I want to put as much pressure in that front foot as I can. Very light pressure in this back foot. There we go. See those shoulder blades get squeezed. If you want to add a tempo, we're looking for fast on the way back. Pause, bring it forward slow. Fast, pause, bring it forward slow. The really nice thing about bands and TRX is that I can adjust the weight very easily throughout the motion. If I get tired right here, I just get a little, a little closer. Makes it a little easier, and I can keep going. I don't have to stop. Get a little closer. Don't have to compromise the form of the workout. There we go. Go. All right, guys, bicep curls. All right, with the bicep curls, a couple things we're looking for. We like to pull this pinky in, okay? That helps us to activate this long head of the bicep. So if you can think, pull with the pinky, right? Try to get a little bit of that rotation. Otherwise, sometimes this, this forearm muscle and this short head of the bicep are a little dominant. They like to take over. Rest. There we go. All right, we got two down. Two to go. So these are probably actually going to be a little heavy for this bent over lateral raise, but we're going to give it a shot. You can watch me suffer a little bit. Those out there that I've made you suffer. All right, here we go. 60 seconds, guys. Trying to hinge at the hip. Trying to have a flat back still. Okay, so here's another better view. And I'm bringing those dumbbells out to the side. Trying to give my back a good squeeze. If you can pause it a little bit without cranking your neck, go ahead. You notice my elbows are slightly bent. My elbows are a little tender, so I don't like to put too much stress on them. 
I am trying to keep my arms nice and long though. That joint angle is basically saying the same throughout the movement. If you see, I'm trying to just work from the shoulder. Almost there, guys. Three, two, and one. Go. All right, here we go. Uneven bicep curl. So if you notice, the dumbbell is at the very top of my hand. Okay. I'm gonna focus on curling that pinky in. So now I have a force against that long head of the bicep as I rotate. Okay. If you notice right here, see how when I turn that pinky, you can see that that bicep right here. It just contracts, okay? So we get a little more activation there. Now I gotta play catch up to you guys. So when you're doing double bicep curl, you'll fatigue a lot faster. If you start getting tired, you turn it into one at a time, okay? We're trying to get as much of that time under tension as you can within the 60 seconds I'm giving you. That was my rest. Go. All right. Hinging at the hip, doing your standard bent over row. Okay. Here's a couple at this angle. Hinge, push the butt back. You'll feel that tension all along these hamstrings. Row, squeeze. Try to think with your elbows, think with those shoulder blades. Those hands are just a means to hold the weight. If you have a barbell at home, use the barbell. You can go a little heavier here. My abs are getting pulled in nice and tight. Keep some of that pressure off of my lower back. If you feel pressure in the lower back, stand up, reset for a sec, abs tight, go back into it. If you feel too much pressure, this is not the exercise for you. All right, we got a little bit of rest. We got that last station, guys. All right, here we go. Starting off, type of Superman variation. Nice wide push up with the fingertips, squeezing that butt, driving those hips into the ground. Okay, and I'm just focusing on lifting that upper body, pulling those shoulder blades back, trying to have as light pressure in these fingertips as I can. Okay. The glutes are the key here. My lower back is going to work. It is. But I'm squeezing that butt, push it into the ground, let it help you out. Okay, some of you will not come up this far. You might be down here. That's perfectly fine. Keep squeezing that butt. Make sure our shoulders don't come up to our ears. We're pulling them down. Rest. There we go. Okay, good counter pose in between this because we're going to go three of them back to back to back. Little child's pose. Let that lower back lengthen out. All right, prone T Cobra. Arms in a T. Trying to lift, squeeze that butt. Now I don't have any help from those hands, right? So it's all me pulling those back muscles, squeezing that butt, trying to get my chest away from this ground. Go. 
as you can see, I'm struggling, right? Two of these back to back. This chest is just dropping. I'm fighting it. Okay. If this is too much pressure for your lower back, you just go back to this position. Okay. Give yourself a little help. I should have had my legs together. It's messing up there. Legs zipped up like a tail, like you had a tail. Keep pulling that chest up. If you can here, trying your best to free through your nose. Rest. Woo. Good old counter pose. Let's get that child pose going in there. Let those muscles relax for a second. All right, my favorite, arrested, straddle legs, Superman. Again, if this is too much, you go back to here. If that's too much, you go back to here, okay? This arrested position, it's kind of hard on those upper back muscles. The bottom part of the neck as well. Those wide legs are going to get that medial glute in your butt. Trying to get those thighs off the ground. Trying to get that chest off the ground. Elbows up to the sky. Eyes are looking down so much. We just don't want to strain the back of the neck. Done. Oh, goodness. A little child's pose. End it off. Trying to sit my hips back towards my heels. Trying to reach my arms out. If that doesn't feel good, you hop onto your back. You pull those knees into your chest. Okay. If that's not getting enough, you can try a twist. You twist, we always want to look opposite the knees. So my knees are off to this side, I'm looking back there. And then you would go vice versa. Ooh, just got a nice little back crack. All right, guys. That's it for this week, week four, upper body pull. Thanks for joining me for these four weeks. It's not the only way you can break these down. It just keeps it very simple. In your head, you can think pull or push, right? Doesn't matter if it's uh, vertical or horizontal. Doesn't matter if it's with the legs or the upper body. Anyways, thank you, Jay at home. My name's Maxwell. And it's been a pleasure.